Good morning, first graders. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Let's look at the calendar. There's the month of May. Monday, May 11th, 2020. We have three weeks together yet to finish up all the first grade work, and you're doing such a good job. Hang in there and keep working hard. I will try to do some fun things with you. We have a couple of art projects coming up and try to work as hard as you can. I know it's difficult, especially because we're not together. So let's, out the, let's start out this morning with the comprehension test. Whistle for Willie. This is the story that I read last week to you. You can read it in the book by yourself because you now have the treasures book. Or you can listen to it again. I, I read it the beginning of last week. The, you can use your book to answer the questions, except for the last one. When you answer it, you have to answer it in your own words. How does Peter feel at the end of the story? So you write down how he feels. Remember, he was trying to learn how to whistle and how he feels at the end of the story, but write it in your own words. Um, today in spelling, we're having a special word phonics pattern that makes the word a little different. Now, some of these words you already know how to spell. And then we're going to add a prefix in front of it to make a new word. Now, there's two prefixes that we're going to work on this week. One is re, R-E. That means to do again. The other one is U-N, which means not. So we have those two prefixes to add to some familiar words. So you have to know especially how to spell re and un, and then you'll be able to do these spelling words real easy. The first one is retry. So that means to try again. Retry. The second one is reuse. Now think about what I said, re means to do again. We do this a lot when we are taking care of our earth. We reuse something. We use it again. And the next one, of course, starts with re. And then we add the little word pack. Re-pack. Nope, excuse me, wrong word. Remake. Sorry about that. Remake. Now you know how to spell make. M-A-K-E. Remake means to make again. Okay. Now we'll move to the words that start with U-N, un. There's where we have the word unpack. U-N-P-A-C-K. Unpack. So if you ever go to your grandma's with your suitcase, she might tell you to unpack your suitcase. That means to take everything out so that it's empty. There's not anything in it anymore. You've unpacked. The next one is unsafe. You know what it means to be safe. There's no danger. You are protected. But if something is unsafe, that means it is not safe. So it is unsafe to go across the street without looking. And the next one that starts with un is unlike. It means not like. That little dog was unlike any other dog I've seen. It was not like any dog I've seen, so unlike. So those are your six basic words, three, with the prefix re, which means to do again, and three with the prefix un, un, which means not. Now, your um, review words from last week, one of them is saw, S-A-W, has three different meanings. It's a tool, it's an action, I saw, sawed the board, and to use your eyes, I saw a bird in the tree. And the word cause, C-A-U-S-E. I don't know what the cause of that accident was. Cause. So you have one A-W and one A-U. 
Now, the high-frequency vocabulary words. The first one is goes. Now, you know how to spell go, so you start with that. G-O, go. And then goes. You have to remember the E comes next and then the S at the end. He goes to the store to buy some milk. So there's the word goes. Now, the last high-frequency word is, I think, kind of a difficult word because of the different um, silent letters and the way the vowels are not in the order we're used to. It's the word build, B-U-I-L-D, build. I like to build with Legos. So those are your 10 words for this week, boys and girls. And along with that, you know to do your B sheet. Looks like this, B sheet. And there's a back side of it, which you do some more practice. Finding the missing letter. And then our sentence for the week. The sentence is, it is unsafe to play in the street. Well, we know that's true. So here's the, your sentence for this week. It is unsafe to play in the street. Don't forget the period. And it starts with a capital letter. So that's worth one point. And the word it is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten with the period. So there are ten points on our sentence today. That's a long sentence, but I know you can do it. A lot of those words you already know, so no problem there. Um, the Decodable Reader is a nonfiction read today. It has a lot of words that you know and a lot that you don't. So when you read this, read it when someone is around that can help you with the words that you don't know. It is a story called Born to Fly by Marianne Dobeck illustrated by Stephen Marchese. And this is the story of Orville and Wilbur Wright. They were the two men, two brothers that worked together to make the first airplane that actually flew. Now you're going to read in here, it didn't fly very long, but it was the start of airplanes for all of us. So it's kind of an interesting story. Um, the phonic sheet for today is on syllables. It looks like this. A syllable is how many parts does the word have? For instance, <clears throat> the word fan. Fan. Slap your leg when you say fan. How many times did you slap your leg? And that's one. So fan is one syllable. How about the word dentist? Dentist. It's a two-part word, isn't it? That means it's a two-syllable word. Then we have a funny word here, galoshes. That means a fancy way of saying boots. Galoshes, galoshes, and that's a three-syllable word. So cut out the words at the bottom. You're gonna need mom or dad or an older sibling to help you read those words. Cut them out and glue them either in the column that says one syllable so that's one part, two syllables, two parts, and three syllables, three parts. Now they each have five words. So if you find you have words left on the end and they don't fit where you think they should go, oh, maybe something's in the wrong spot. So they do give you a little line next to the word. If you'd like to write one, two, or three on that line, to practice how many syllables, then you'll know where to glue it. Now our work packet for today is working on the spelling pattern, which are the prefix re and un. When re or un is added to the beginning of a word, it changes the meaning of that word. Re means again, and un means not. When re or un is, is added to the beginning of the word, the word gets another syllable. Okay, you look at these eight words and decide, can you put re or can you put un in front of that word and write it on the line? These lines aren't very big, so you're going to have to really condense your letters. See if it makes sense. Um, and sometimes they even can, you can even use both of them on it, but you only have to write one. 
So let's practice. The word check is first. Recheck, uncheck. Now, actually, you can use both, can't you? You can recheck your word your, to see if you spelled it correctly, recheck it, or you can uncheck something. Like on the computer, if you checked a box and you press on it again, it'll uncheck. That means the check will come off. So this is page 283 in your work packet. All right. That's all we have this morning for um, phonics and spelling. Have a great day.